Altair Monarch Data Prep Studio includes pre-built data preparation functions that allow you to transform your data into clean, analysis-ready information. This table contains orders from different music stores for classical music in the form of CDs, DVDs, and so forth. Looking at the media field, notice that there are some blanks. Based on our source report, these rows should also have the value of the previous row. Let's fix that. At the media column, go to replace. There are options to replace nulls and blanks, along with options for using find and replace and using position and length. Choose the ditto option. Over here we have the description column containing both the composer and the composition. Let's say we want separate fields for the composer and the piece. Let's see what we have under the split function. The split can be performed from the left or right, and we can also split names and addresses into parts. For our case, we will split the description into parts from the left. Put in a comma as our delimiter, and set the column count to 2. Data Prep Studio then gives us a preview of what the new columns will look like. Let's rename the new columns as Composer and Composition. We can use the column menu or simply double click on the header. Moving along, here we have the ship date. Let's say we need the year and the quarter. This time, there are different options for the split function because we are at a date field. Choose date time into parts, then choose year and quarter. Now notice that we see the data type on the column header. Text fields like the contact have an AB symbol. Date fields such as the ship date have a clock. Numeric fields such as the account number have the number symbol. However, it is more appropriate for the account number to be a text field. We can easily change the data type through the drop-down on the column header. All the data prep operations we've done are tracked in the change history. You can undo and redo these changes, and even export them for use on other tables sharing the same structure. Now let's see what else is in the column menu. Data prep functions that edit actual column values are available depending on the data type. For character fields, there are options to change the case, clean, Convert, Extract, Insert Text, Merge, Redact, Replace, and Split. Date fields have similar functions. However, notice that under Split, the options are specific to dates as we saw earlier. With numeric fields, you get functions such as Compute, where you can round numbers, remove negative signs and decimals, and so on. Aside from working with the values in the current column, you can also create new columns such as a formula column out of values from other fields. There are many different functions and operators as well, ranging from date, string, redaction, conversion functions, and so on. Now let's have a look at the column list. Here you can apply the same data prep function, say this custom numeric format, to all columns sharing the same data type, which in this case is numeric. Just click on Apply Selected Format to All. As we see in the preview grid, the unit price and amount were formatted along with the quantity. User-defined macros may also be applied to all columns of the same type. Here, for instance, we have a couple of macros that may be applied to all text columns. Similarly, you can also set the same casing to all column names. Finally, when we are finished preparing the data, the table is now ready to be transformed, combined with other tables, analyzed by creating summaries, 
and even exported for further use.